What's going on everybody, it's Brian, and in this video I'll be showing you Mobile Safari on iOS 5 Beta 1 running on an iPad 2. So yesterday Apple announced that Mobile Safari on the iPad is getting somewhat of a facelift. It pretty much looks the same, but you do get a new tab interface. So instead of tapping a stupid button, waiting for it to go through its little animation to your tap screen, tapping on your website, waiting for it to do the same animation again, you have all of your tabs on the bottom bar similar to Safari in Mac OS X and on Windows. So you can see that I have one website open, Google. I could just tap on the plus on the right side and it goes to a new tab. So let's say I want to go to Mac Rumors, I could just tap on that and it goes. You also have a, a new reading list, so if you're using the cloud-based service, you could add websites to this list and you'll actually be able to catch up on these things from whatever iDevice you're using that are all on your cloud account. And let's say I want to go to another website like cultofmac.com. I could go ahead and open a new tab, go to another site like jailbreakzone.com, open a new tab and go to Boy Genius Report, open a new tab, go to, I don't know, yahoo.com, open another tab, go to Microsoft, open another tab, go to apple.com, go to another one, let's go to, I already went to Yahoo, let's go to Bing just for fun. open another tab and go to oh that's it so in total you could have nine tabs open at once you could instantly or you could tap on one and it will instantly switch to it of course these app these websites actually haven't loaded yet on my actual iDevice so once I load all of the tabs once it should then be able to instantly switch between them like so so here I am at Google, if I want to switch to my Microsoft tab, tap on it and it instantly switches to your page. Jailbreak Zone, Cult of Mac, Mac Rumors, Bing, Apple's website right here. You can tap on a tap on a link and it will load it just like usual, so nothing fancy in terms of loading pages. Oh, that's huge. That's what she said. To me. <laughs> uh, Yahoo, Microsoft, Boy Genius Report, you know, it's it's really simple to use the tab interface on the iPad and it took them long enough to actually add this feature into iOS. So it's nice having an actual tab interface in iOS. So that was just a quick look at mobile safari on um Oh yeah, forgot to show you some stuff, so never mind, I'm not going to end this video yet. Tapping on your uh, More menu button here will actually allow you to add it to your reading list. Of course, you could add it to your home screen like usual. You could add it as a bookmark like usual. You can mail this link. You can ma you could mail a link to this page to somebody else like usual. You could print like usual, and you could also tweet out the page you're at. So I'm over at apple.com. If I want to make a tweet, I'll just call it test, send it off because iOS 5 does have Twitter integration. And if I go ahead to my uh, Twitter account, we should see that we should see the tweet that I just composed and here it is. Less than a minute ago from iOS and here is the website that it was just at. So, there you go. That was just a quick video to take a look at the new mobile Safari for iPad on iOS 5 beta 1. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, or iOS 5 video requests, you can leave them down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.